Today, a Russian court denied WNBA superstar Brittany Griner's appeal to shorten her nine-year sentence on drug charges. Griner was arrested in February with less than one gram of cannabis oil in vape cartridges. She says she made a mistake. She was packing in a hurry. The WNBA superstar pleaded for a shorter sentence today via video seen in court from behind bars from the detention center where she's been held since her arrest. This has been a very traumatic um, experience waiting for this day, waiting for the first court uh, and getting uh, nine years for a crime that I was barely over the significant amount Joining me now is Phoenix Mercury forward Brianna Turner, Brittany Griner's teammate, as well as the former U.S. ambassador to Russia, Michael McFaul. Brianna, it's good to see you again. This is not a happy day. What is your reaction to the court's decision on the appeal? It's very difficult to hear. Today is day number 250 that BG's been there, and just being her friend and her teammate, it's just very difficult to see someone you care about in this type of situation. There's at least, you know, some thought that perhaps now Russia will get serious, Ambassador McFall, serious about negotiating. Is that possibly, you know, the silver lining as she looks to eight, eight more years potentially in Russian jails? Well, I hope it's the silver lining. Uh, we had to get to this horrible, awful day before any negotiations, serious negotiations about a swap could take place. Uh, obviously, if we've talked many times on your show, there's been discussions of that. Uh, the Americans have talked about a swap for Victor Boot, um, for Brittany Griner. Uh, I personally support that. I know others criticize it, and it says that will lead to more um, abductions. I disagree with that. I actually think the data uh, also disagrees with that. And in the case of Russia, uh, as opposed to other countries that, that kidnap people, uh, they behave differently. Um, Secretary Blinken uh, floated it several months ago, and I hope now they can get on with those kinds of negotiations. Brianna, talk to me about Brittany. What kind of person is she, and how did she look to you today in that, you know, really um, emotional appearance from behind bars? I would say Brittany is one of the kindest people I know. She's always willing to help someone out in need, always willing to help a, give a helping hand. She's the type of person that you're going to call if you're in trouble. She's just that type of person. Um, but just to see her, to hear her voice um, today, it's it's really difficult. Um, it's something, of, obviously, I've been watching closely over the last few months, but um, to have what was happened today, it's obviously very disappointing. Uh Ambassador, there are 30 progressive Democrats in Congress who have signed onto a letter asking President Biden to directly engage with Russia to end the conflict in Ukraine. I want to ask your reaction to that as well. It goes against White House and State Department policy from the beginning of this war. Well, you know, I, I feel emotionally the same way. I read the letter, and, and emotionally, of course, everybody wants to end this war. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. I talk to senior Biden administration officials pretty often. I talk to senior Ukrainian officials often. They all want to end the war. That's the easy thing to say. Uh, the hard thing is how to do it. Um, and, you know, I think the letter would have been more interesting had they had some concrete proposals that, that they think that the Biden administration is not pursuing. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, Putin has annexed territory of Ukraine uh, in a ceremony in the Kremlin. Uh, he is now fighting on the ground to seize that territory. And I have seen no indication whatsoever that he will negotiate with President Biden or President Zelensky or Xi Jinping until he attempts to seize that territory. So those are the facts on the ground. That's reality. Uh, it's OK to have ambitions to do things, but you've got to remember we're talking about Vladimir Putin. It takes two to tango, and you're not going to have a negotiation with him right now. I say that tragically, but that's my assessment, uh, having watched him and known him for many, many years. And despite how heated the, the facts and also the lack of diplomacy on the war is, 
Do you think that Vladimir Putin could make a deal to trade someone? Uh, they, they clearly want two for two. They're demanding, still demanding, apparently, that this German assassin, the Russian assassin in Germany, be turned over in the State Department, the White House, say they have no control over that. He's not in U.S. custody. But is something possible? Will Putin give in on, you know, on Brittany Griner, despite all the hostilities in Ukraine? Andrea, I don't know. I want to make that clear. Uh, I, I, I don't know what Putin is thinking, and ultimately this will be a decision by him and him alone. I do know that Victor Boot is incredibly important to Vladimir Putin. Uh, he's a criminal. We've convicted him. Unlike, I want to be clear, we're not comparing uh, criminals to criminals. One is an innocent victim in Russia. The other is a real criminal. But he's also a criminal tied to the intelligence services that has done work for people like Vladimir Putin and his entourage, his people. And it would be a giant coup for them domestically to get him out of jail. So that makes me cautiously optimistic that a deal could be done. And number two, they are capable of siloing these things. We most certainly did it when I was in the government. We had radical disagreements in one place and we found agreement in other places. Doesn't mean it can happen in the future, but it does not mean because of this horrific barbaric war uh, that we are on different sides of that other kinds of diplomatic achievements cannot be achieved. And Brianna Turner, do you have a message to Brittany, your friend and teammate? in Russia's jail? Um, I admire her courage and integrity she's shown over the last several months. I mean, I hold out so much hope for her, and I just hope that she stays hopeful, too, that she's going to make it back home, because I know she will. Well, Brianna Turner from the Phoenix Mercury, thank you so much for your time today. And as always, thank Ambassador you. Mike McFall, thanks for your expertise. Thank you.